With less than two weeks before Election Day, the dispute over voter suppression is far from over in Shelby County. Yep, but despite the issues, a significant number of people have already cast ballots during early voting. Tonight, Local 24's political commentator, Otis Sanford, well, he shares his point of view on the fight to get voters to the polls. In a political atmosphere of distrust, anger, and fear, a fierce legal battle over voting rights versus voter integrity is playing out in Shelby County. And with the clock ticking toward Election Day on November 6th, the battle is now moving from Chancery Court to the State Court of Appeals. At stake is not only whether up to 6,000 incomplete voter registration forms turned in before the deadline will be corrected in time, but also, depending on your political view, whether this issue amounts to voter suppression or potential voter fraud. On Thursday, the forces concerned about suppression won the day in court when Chancellor Joe Day Jenkins issued a stunning ruling. He ordered the election commission to allow people who turned in faulty registration forms to fix them and vote like everyone else on election day. Commission officials argued that would be a tremendous hardship, in addition to being a violation of state law. Currently, anyone who files an improper registration application can still vote on election day, but with a provisional ballot that will be verified later by a bipartisan group. Allowing these applicants to use regular voting machines, administrators argue, only invites voter fraud. So with 11 days remaining before election day, this dispute sadly is far from being resolved and both sides are entrenched. Despite the distrust, every eligible person should have every opportunity to vote, no matter what. And that's my point of view. I'm Otis Sanford for Local 24 News.